What's up guys? It's of Dags and Darkness or Declan, you know. It's your boy with back with, you know, the JTF sniper, the J ten S pistol, um Colt Magfe pistol over here. Um the seven to eight mil, you know. And the uh Colt M1911, which everyone fucking hates but me. I'm like that. I mean I don't like the blowback on the top, but I don't like it sliding back, like it's not amazing. But um you know, like, I do like it as a pistol, it's not too bad, it's, it's a bit more realistic, you know, it's not like over the top with a hopper, and you know, it, lo it looks realistic, you know, I, li I like the feel. Um, so, before I've done my STD kit, and my, um, my, just my gear reviews, and just my kit, and I did one before, talking about my STD kit update, now, this is a bit more of a, um, this is a bit more of a indoor kind of kit setup for me. Well, and it is and it isn't, it just depends how I'm playing, if I do am playing outdoor, because, you know, this hits about 15 metres, give or take, same with the pistol, same with this one, this hits probably about 15 to 20 metres, um, but this is my setup for when I play with my sniper. Now, obviously, people look, oh, you know, the sniper isn't that amazing, like, it is fun blaster, and it's not, like, a competitive, like, a technically a competitive, like, you can't hold people off, you've got 10 shells, you've got 10 shots. And not every shot, you know, it might hit, you know, it just depends. Um, but this is more of a setup that I like to use just when I'm having fun, you know. The whole point of a skirmish is to have fun and enjoy yourself. And if you can't do that, then what are you doing at a skirmish, you know. You're meant to have fun. It's not about, like, killing everyone, running around, being insane and crazy and stuff, you know. I've got my STDs, I've got my AK-74, and I've got other blasters and stuff. This, for me, is just more of a sit back and kind of have fun. I don't play it the whole day, you know, this will be like, kind of like come out and, you know, give it a go, show the guys some cool stuff. Because a couple of guys I played with hadn't actually experienced either these pistols. A guy actually had the Colt, but he didn't have this one. So, um, I love this pistol. This is my favorite pistol now. Um, good fire rate, you know, I like the way it's actually fed. But yeah, this is my setup. Like, obviously, I've got my be um, my belt, which carries, like, mags, and, you know, it's got the holster for this one, and I use my um, fire sprint holster for that, or I just put the drop leg on. Um, as you can see, you know, I do have the shell feeder adapter put on, so when I am playing, you know, I can just take the shell out, pump twice, you know, put a round in, put it in the, t uh, put it in the actual magazine, bam. Cock it, shoot, and yeah, so this setup is a little bit different compared to like my assaultive setups. This is more of a, um, more of a defensive setup in the sense that, you know, I've got my sniper that has 10 shots. I've got my pistol that probably, my Colt that has like a, you know, probably like 20 shots at best. And then I've got this one, which I use for rushing. If I'm pushing an area, I will use this to push the faster fire rate and I'll be like, oh, man, you know, move on. And then... With this one, I do carry a lot of gel ball bottles with me. I'll carry probably two for my 7 to 8 mil pistol. And then I'll carry one with the actual adapter to fill this one up. So this is more of a defensive position, so I can actually hold a position. And, I, you know, it's probably not the best defensive, but I like using my sniper. So it's more of a, like a fun, trolley kind of thing. Because if, if you get a kill with this or any of these pistols when they're using like ARs and the scars and, you know, Lu Chen scars and stuff like that, it's quite funny. You know, some people get really pissed off about it, but, you know, I, I just want to play and enjoy my time. So this is my sniper setup for now. If I do get the Beretta, I will let you know, but I will be using the Beretta 50 cal on single shot just because I like the more realistic feel of like one shot at a time instead of just pelting gel balls down range. And that's with my other blasters, I use a lot of them on single um, just because I like the feel, I have a bit more control, a lot of people just go full auto on ham and a lot of people that do that use drum mags, I don't have any drum mags because I just couldn't be fucked buying one yet. I might get one, you know, you never know. But yeah, this is my sniper setup, guys. If you have any questions, you know, I'll let you know how much these cost. So the sniper was $80, the pistol was $100, and this was here. Um, I think retails for about $80 to $100. I'm not 100% sure. It was sent as a replacement for a blaster that didn't come. So technically I paid, like, I don't know, like, I think it was like $80. So, I mean, it's $80, give or take. But, yeah, so I'll just give you the names again, just in case you want to check them out. So, Colt or Doug Colt, it's like D-O-U-G, Colt, um, M1911. That is actually called the JF-10S, 
M1911, but it's just people just call it the M1911 or whatever brand it is. I'm not 100% sure of the branding on it because you know, it's hard to see. But it is actually manufacturer called the JF10S pistol. And then you've got the JF19 sniper in the background. So you guys, that's my setup with my belt, of course, but I just couldn't be stuffed getting my belt out because you've seen it like multiple times before. That's my setup. And I do actually have a couple of um, magazines. So I do have three magazines in total for that there. So I do run a couple of mags. But yeah, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. If you've got any comments, hit me up on Instagram. You know, smash the like buttons, stuff like that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, and have a good day.